Welcome to Old Guys Gentlemen's Flex Fountain Pens. This is episode number 77. And today I will not be reviewing this pen, but this is a lead in to this pen. I told a little bit of a story about this before, but the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey would say, I wonder how many people actually remember Paul Harvey and what that he used to say that. In any case, we were headed on a vacation and we were stopping off in Chicago and I was going to buy some pens on this vacation. And one of the great one of the great places to buy pens in Chicago anyhow is Anderson Pens. So we went there and I think we for a while we were the only people in the store and then other people came in. But we had the attention of a couple salesmen basically showing us anything we wanted to see. Now when I went in there I wanted this Pilot Namiki Machia Raden pen. And I think this might have been the only design they had. As you've seen from my previous videos, I'm always mesmerized by this. So I had enough budget to buy this pen and maybe another pen or two on the trip as we progressed into Europe. And while I was there, we got to talking about pens and I, I said I really like how the colors pop on this thing and how it's, you know, kind of, I was jokingly saying it was kind of sparkly. And he says, you like sparkly pens? And I said, yeah. And he says, well, come over here and take a look at this. And that's when he showed me this Platinum 3776 Urushi Galaxy Starlight pen. And... God, I just love the way it looked. I think I tend to like with a little bit more of the, the black shown. This is almost a little bit too much, but it's really pretty cool. It's a Urushi pen again. So they start with a resin pen, and then this isn't the exact order, but they'll put a layer of this uh, Urushi Japanese lacquer on there. They'll put the first layer on, and uh, it's got to cure and dry, which takes a week or two. And then they sand it, and they might do that again. And there's uh, opaque urushi, and there's um, transparent urushi, and there's colored urushis. And then there's all sorts of other variations where they can add things. But here what they did is these look like inexpensive spreckles that you'd see for sale at a dime store or something. Almost like they're little shiny pieces of plastic, but with, what they are is blue abalone shells. And uh, they're giving off a lot of different colors here. I'm probably not pronouncing this right, but uh, it's called Algai, A-O-G-A-I. And so what they did here is they would put some of this on here, put a little layer on, cure it, sand it, put another layer on, and so forth. And I don't know how well this can be seen here, but there are definite layers. There are some shiny particles that are further down. You can see that because they're not quite as shiny. And then others further up and then others further up still. So when you first look at it, you might think, oh, a sparkly pen. <laughs> but there's a lot more going on with this pen. One of the things that I wish they would have done that they, they didn't do is they didn't carry this design onto the section. Now, they probably did that on purpose. There's some nice contrast between a solid dark section and then this uh, you know, sparkly uh, barrel. This is not the nib that originally comes with this. Uh, the nibs they provide are 18K nibs. But when I, was, when I was looking to buy this thing, I was telling him that I'm really into flex pens. And he says, well, we do have a soft fine. And it was on some other 3776s. And so I guess they're interchangeable. So. He went ahead and swapped the nib for me. So then I had a, uh, um, a really pretty pen. By the way, there's a signature. 
Some other features of this, and I'll show you how this writes in a little bit, is it has what they call a uh, slip and seal lock so that this is a really tight seal. Uh, you'll never get any leakage and it keeps the, the nib moist and ready to go. How about some dimensions? Capped. This is a five and a half inches long, which is a, you know, a good size length for what I like. Unposted, it's uh, four and five eighths, which is a little bit less. I can write like that, but I like to have just a little bit more up here. Posted, and they do not recommend posting. Uh, I, I do it, but kind of gently. But if you don't do it uh, hard enough, it'll flop around while you write. So I'm probably going to pay a price for that. But with the um, with the cap on, it's it's perfect. Anyhow, that length uh, posted is six and a sixteenth, roughly. The barrel diameter is nine cents sixteenths inches, which is a perfect diameter for me. And the section is seven sixteenths, so just short of half an inch. So it's very comfortable in terms of diameter for me. It comes with, you can operate this with a cartridge or uh, a converter. I think this is a Con 70 converter. I'll have to take a look. It doesn't really hold that much ink. I think it's on the order of a half a milliliter. Cartridge holds more. I end up not using this pen as much as a lot of the other pens, so this converter's uh, fine. Let's see how it writes. Oh, by the way, the other thing is that this is this is a Soft Finance 14K nib. They regularly come with 18K nibs. Another reason why I like the 14K nib is I might send this off uh, to a nibmeister to put more flex on it. If it's 18K, generally the the nib guys won't want to work with it because it, there's just not enough um, strength in the nib to thin it out to give you the flex. But there is with 14K. All right. So, so I believe this is, it's a soft fine, but Japanese fines are pretty nicely fine. Well, I guess when you can just check. Yeah, it's like a, a triple extra fine. Almost a needle point. I guess I should keep this out. How wide can we go? Now this is not a flex pen per se. It's just a soft pen. pen. So it's, I think it's mainly made for just slight line variation and just for the, the joy of feeling a little bounce while you're writing. But I always want to know what kind of line variation I can get. So, will it do a medium? Yeah, but maybe not much more than that. How about bold? Yeah, or, or broad, excuse me. So, so this can go from triple extra fine to broad. So some figure eights. I wish I could remember the uh, ink that I used in here. I think it's a kind of a, I think it's sort of a kind of dry ink. So this might be uh, one of the Pelican response. Yep, not bad. And some writing.
So just just the hint of, of line shading, line variation. So I like that. So what do I think about this pen? Well, it's it's pretty to look at. It'd be better once I get some flex on it. I um, I kind of like. You know, as I'm owning these pens, I appreciate the ones when I first get them. I still appreciate this one, but I'm also kind of appreciating where they provide a little bit more contrast, like in this Namiki, where the colors just kind of kind of pop out. But I'll be I'll be keeping it. <laughs> I'll be keeping this guy. So I think that's it. Hope you got some value out of that. And until uh, next time, goodbye.